Hello everyone and welcome to Flower Friday. Hey there. <laughs> I'm Amanda. And I'm Sherry. And we are the mother-daughter designers at Grace Monroe Home, where we help you transform the ordinary home into an extraordinary home. Yes, we do. And today we're going to be making a beautiful spring summer wreath. So hop on in and watch us make this gorgeous thing. Yes. Hello everyone. Those of you who are watching us live, welcome, welcome. Yes. We are so happy to have you here with us today. We really are. I know that uh, everybody needs something to take their minds off of everything that's going on in Texas and Louisiana with all the snow and everything. So hopefully we're going to do that today. Yeah. Hey, Leslie, Kim, welcome. Hello, hello. Hey, guys, thank you for joining us live. If you are watching us live, y'all be sure to say hey in the comments. Say hi, yes. let us know where you're watching from. That's right. If you're watching the replay, you can type replay in the comments. Yep. But we are going to have some fun today. Yes, we are. And we're going to be making, like I said, a beautiful spring slash summer mm -hmm. wreath because this one is actually going to be good all the way through. And uh, we've got some beautiful greenery that I'm excited about using. I've been kind of holding this off a little bit, waiting for just the right time to use it. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, so let's go ahead and show you what we are working with today. Hey, Kathy and Janet, welcome. Hey there. Hey, Robbie and Paula. We're so glad to have y'all with yes, us today. Yes, we are. So uh -oh. we caught. have a 14-inch grapevine wreath base that we're going to be doing. And this is actually a full wreath that we're going to be doing today. Yep, yep. We have some pretty little yellow. Mm -hmm. Yellow, and apparently yellow. apparently... <laughs> got a little glue got on it. Got a there. glue, glue on it. Yeah. Greenery uh, with little, little yellow flowers on there that we're going to yes. be using. Yes. And this is the the stem of greenery. And uh, this came from Joann's. And I love this. It has got a lot of different things going on and is just so, so pretty. And like I said, I've been holding off to use that. And this is the day. And then we've got another greenery that we're going to use. And I love that all of these are real soft. They are, this one's a little flocked a little bit, just kind of dusted, mm -hmm. and they're just really soft, and I love that. And then we've got some uh, white Gerber daisies, some pretty little roses, and uh, wildflowers. So this one is going to be a yellow and white yeah. and wreath. Yellow and white is just a great transition wreath. It's good for spring yes, all the is. way through summer. So this is one of those that you can put up and leave up. Yes, you can. And plus, it is very popular this year. The yellow yeah. is really, really big. In fact, if you start looking for pillows for your porch, which I've been doing, everything is yellow. So yeah, yellow that's is, one of those things. Yep. It is the color. Yes, it <laughs> is. So Hey, guys. Welcome. Hey, Diane. I'm feeling great. Thank you for asking. Hey, Heather. Well, we're actually, we've already pre-made our bows for this. You can go, um, we do have a video showing you on our, our YouTube channel, and I will link it uh, here as well. But this is a very simple bow that mm -hmm. we've made. Um, I love this ribbon. I this, love it. This is actually Christmas ribbon. Yep, we're still using Christmas ribbon. But it's just perfect to use year-round. So whenever I see, this came from Michael's, and whenever I see this kind of ribbon, because you can get it, in the non-Christmas section as well. Yes. When I see this and similar types of ribbon, I stock up. Yeah, we, we do. We stock up. We sure do because this is such a versatile mm -hmm. one and it is so pretty. Yeah, and I've used this a few times. I love the linen with the lace. It's elegant, which is what we're going for yep. for this design. So I've already made this simple 12 loop wreath bow. Um, and like I said, you can watch that video to see exactly how to make that. And we're going to attach it about at the, what is it, 5 o'clock? Yeah, maybe? about 5. Yeah. So what I do, I just that is take just my wire. That is just sticking to everything. Yeah, it's right in the way. I yeah, it. there we go. I just take my 26-gauge floral wire, which is what I use to make the bow, and I wrap it right around the grapevine. Yep, easy peasy. Five or six times, just like that, and get it in just the spot that I want it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to fluff it out a little bit here, but we'll fluff it out better later. Yeah. I love this ribbon, though. It's so pretty. So, 
let's get started we are going to go ahead and start greening our our wreath and while we're doing that y'all let us know what the weather is doing and how you all are doing pop that in the comments i would love to hear from you all so this greenery is just really pretty i love the light color i think it I has do too you know it's just so soft yeah, it's so soft and just has that really Kind of elegant romantic yes and it's I got like. like i said it's got so much going on with it because it's got some eucalyptus in it and then several little things even some little white berries uh just so so pretty so the first one i am going to put in actually i was going to put this at the top but i'm going to put this one at the bottom because it's actually a little bit longer than the other and i like to make my bottom of my wreaths a lot of times will be just a little longer than the top so that they end up being almost like an oval yeah not quite round not it's kind quite of longer round. than yeah, wide just a little bit so and i'm going to put this in my bottom and we're dipping it in a glue skillet so yes if you have not watched us before that is what we use instead of a glue gun right and then i'm gonna tell you this this greenery like i said i got it at joann's and this would be beautiful uh to do just a whole wreath with now with this one amanda i actually cut i, I cut this part apart for the top and so I'm not using the eucalyptus piece on the top. So we're just going to put it in just like this. Just kind of separate those just a little bit. That's so pretty. Let's see. I think somebody in the comments was asking for the item number on that. Oh, let room. me see. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to give you two different numbers because I'm not sure which is the item number, but the bar, the, top, the one at the top of the barcode says 1792-0885, and the one across the bottom is 0, and then it says 32733 nine nine three three eight and then another little bitty zero so you might try that number without the zero on either end or you may need them i'm not sure i never can remember which number it is so sorry about that but that's the number and i do like i said i love this I actually did not mean to cut my eucalyptus off because I, I'm gonna, mine on there I for didn't the top, mean. But oh, you did for the well, top. I didn't know which one you used. So well, that's used not going to hurt anything. I'm just. I was just going to use it on my the side one, but that it. Like I said, it does not matter. I'm just going to put that here on the side. Now, I will does. say that this, um, I love this greenery that we're using right here, but it is a little bit trickier to get it into the wreath. Yes, I noticed um, that. It, it definitely So you is. do have to kind of manhandle it just a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. So don't be alarmed if that's the case. Yeah. And it's because they've got so many little put together, greeneries yeah. put together. In fact, I can't tell if I've got that like I need to. Let's see all right i may move that around a little i'm not sure but right now we're gonna leave it just like it is just kind of like that all right so i'm gonna cut the next little piece off and i'm gonna use it on this side And 
that's not working. Let me take this yeah, out. It's very, and do it's, it again. is kind of floppy. I'm adding some extra on my sides mm -hmm. because it just does not look right to me. <laughs> it needs a little yeah. more. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm fixing to. Because uh, mine is not going exactly how I want it to. But yeah, okay, I don't know okay. why that's doing that way, but that's all right. We're going to fix it. We're going to get it looking like it's supposed to. Yeah. So, really, your main thing is you're just kind of placing it around greening getting your size with this yeah greenery. that's that's what we're doing we're figuring out what our size for it is going to be so that's that shows we've got our cross made so now I'm gonna just cut this off and I'm just gonna start filling in and this one's got two little parts so I'm gonna take those two apart and use these up at the top right in between my two at the top just like that and a lot of times i think people are kind of afraid to cut these apart yes but, don't be uh yeah don't be because i think that they're i warm. mean you're able to use yeah, you, you, all of them you don't so just want to put one better. of these first of all it's going to cost you a lot more money yes you have to it have is <laughs> a whole lot more money plus I'm i think gonna, it just looks better i'm gonna put my little berries because I got another little berry. I'm just going to stick it right down in here at the top. Just like that. Alrighty. So now I'm going to cut this one up and do on the bottom. Welcome. If it is your first time watching us, y'all let us know in the yes, comments if we, you are a first time viewer. We would love to take a second and welcome you. Oh. All right, so I'm going to use this one like this, this little piece down here between these two. And you'll see the way that I'm putting it, I'm making sure that I'm gradually stepping up and making, there's a, you know, this one's about, oh, I'd say an inch and a half lower than, than my side ones because you want to keep doing that so that once you get it completed, you've got that look going all the way around that it looks like it's supposed to. And so, uh that's the way you get that look and you do the same thing up here you see i've got my top one higher than my two sides but because now i did want to mention that because i'm i like my bottom to be longer than my top you'll see these are actually shorter than they're probably i'd say three inches maybe two and a half shorter than my top one Whereas these are only about an inch and a half or so. And that's because I want my bottom because it's going to be a little more of an oval type look for this one. So I'm going to find this piece. And I'm going to put this one on the other side up under my bow. I'm just going to move my stuff out of the way. And I know y'all hear us say this all the time, but don't forget to put something behind your bow. Right. Because <laughs> that's probably one of the biggest things that I see. It is. Uh, when people are making wreaths, they forget behind the bow. And they think, if they don't do that because they think, well, the bow's big enough, it kind of covers. And you're right, in, you know, in it a sense. It does. But. But it's needed. It's needed because it's just going to help make your bow stand out and stand up and look so much better. One, and they have to cut off if I cannot get it to cooperate. So I've just kind of, with mine, just gone all the way around yeah. with that greenery. Mm-hmm. All right. And I'm going to 
going to just fill in a little bit here and there with some of it. Just well. There we go. Now I got it where I want it. I just, I, I love this. I wished I bought a lot more of it. Simply got that real natural mm -hmm. look. It does. And because it's got more than one type of greenery in it, it just kind of, I don't know. Just, yeah. I like it. I do too. And I mean, I've you can fill up a whole wreath with just that greenery yeah, and a lace, really, one of the really. lace, lace and burlap ribbons and just have that natural look. It'd you be really definitely cool. could. And I'm going to go ahead and put one of my pieces here on the other side of my bow so that I've got it on the inside as well. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to have to fix my bow, but that's all right. Now I'm going to take a piece of my greenery and I'm going to just have it right here, kind of going towards the center a little bit. And then I'm going to take some, well, that's a little piece of eucalyptus, so I will add that. I guess I was working a little bit faster. You just, were. You got it. You used I, it all, didn't you? I used you? all of it. Well, I got a little ahead of you. You did. Uh, you did, because I am not anywhere near that yet. Any said ask, what is a good place to get wicker hanging baskets? Um, if you have an old time pottery, that's where I get all yeah. that kind of stuff, because um, they have a lot of wicker stuff there. They do. For sure. So I definitely recommend it if you have one close by. I'm not sure if you can order from online from them. I don't know either. I, I don't know. It'd be nice if you could. It sure would, wouldn't it? I know you used to could not, but then a lot of stores have changed that because yeah, of yeah, they've changed the it. situation now. So yep, they may. <laughs> Robbie said, "Speedy Amanda." I guess so. Yeah, I don't know. She I, always has been. I think I'm, I'm trying to read her mind. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. You knew I was going to do something. Okay, so I've just put it around the center circle as well. Okay, now we've got this other greenery too, but we're going to just kind of place this if we need it since we had so much of the other. Mm -hmm. So now we have these two uh yellow cabbage roses and we're gonna put these in the middle so i'm gonna have one right here on this side and i'm just gonna kind of aim it towards the middle just like that and we do this anytime that we just have or we're just going to use two of something if we've got like larger sunflowers or anything like that that we're going to just use two of we will put them opposite each other in the middle just like that and yes people say well what about the triangle and all that this the way that we do this it's perfectly fine not to do your typical triangle that people always talk about so don't let that stop you. Yeah, we're going to break the rules. We've got a couple. We like bit. to break the rules. <laughs> yes, we do. Some of them. Uh oh, I cut my thing. Uh oh. I cut my bow. How did I do? Oh, I guess I did that with my clippers. Oh, you must have. Oh, well, let me get some wire and fix it. All right, so now I'm going to put this. I think this is so pretty. And if you've never watched us, you see we do uh, leave our stems long, and we do that on purpose. We cut them out, off at the back and leave them long in the front so that we can position them exactly where we want them, and we get the dimension that we're looking for by doing that. 
Annie, right. yes, yellow. It is the color of the year. Yes, it is. We huh? have been using quite a bit of yellow yes, too lately. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just, if I can get that in that grapevine, it's not wanting to cooperate. Let me try this again. I'll cut it just a little bit. That one had split at the bottom. Okay. And I'm putting this one right at the top. But you see that I'm still having my greenery peeping over the top of it. So I don't want it to be quite as tall as my greenery is. And I am going to do the same thing in the bottom. So I'm just making sure that it's just barely longer than this one. That's so pretty already. I love yellow. We need some yellow right now, don't we? With all the, the we need some sun. That's exactly <laughs> right. So now I am going to bring this one and just have it over here on the side because I'm just kind of spreading these out a little bit, just like that. And check to see who was here. It's the UPS guy. <laughs> oh, is it? I could hear my dog barking. Oh, dog Sorry, right. y'all. <laughs> yeah. The UPS is kind of late today. They are late. But Sorry about that. <laughs> he has got a loud mouth. That's Bless my dog. I think is that's it your Jasper. dog, too? Uh oh. I think he came over here. He probably did. For If y'all don't know, uh, Amanda lives next door. Mm -hmm. So. He probably did come over. Well, he, I do think that he is He did him. come over earlier. I know I yeah. saw him. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to add this part of them. I think this is so pretty. I love a little bush that has a mixture of things. And this is the little wildflowers. And they're so, so pretty. So... I'm going to put him on either side, just like that. And I'm going to put this one on the other side. Let me use this one. Just like that. Yeah, it's great when a bush has multiple more, yes, things or items on it because it just creates so much more dimension it does when you use those berries or when you use that greenery in your wreaths and that's coming. something you want i mean you know a lot of times i see wreaths that which you know in some cases it's perfectly fine but you know i'll see a lot of them that just have one thing and like i said it depends on what look you're going for but i like to see a lot of different elements in a wreath. I think that, uh, you know, that just makes it more interesting for people that see it. And, uh, and really just more natural. It is. It is more natural. Okay. Um, the, the flowers are from, uh, Michael's. Uh, the uh, rose, the large cabbage roses are from Michael's. They're from Michael's. Now the small bush, I think it was Joanne's. No, I think it's at home. Actually. Is that right at home? Is that? That's it is at home. It is at home. But yep. you can find them, Michaels. Yes, uh, you can find these for sure yeah, at any, Michaels, anywhere. and I think you can probably find something at least that's very similar. I'm pretty sure Michaels has yellow. Um, yeah, some very similar to. Yeah, I know they have these. Because I've seen these there, and they're almost identical. So, and we're going to use those in a minute. But I want to go ahead and put some of my, we're going to have some white. And i tell you something, you know, yes, this one has got a whole lot of yellow. But by adding the pretty white daisies, it makes the yellow even pop more when you do that. So, that is what we are going to do. Yeah, and we've got the white and the lace. Mm -hmm. um, 
So yeah. we kind of incorporate all that. For sure. So I am going to put this one right here. They are still barking. I <laughs> hope y'all can't still hear that. They probably can. Y'all probably can, but uh, also I hear my little girls out there yelling. Yeah, they're, they're not by themselves, by the way. No, they're not. <laughs> there is an adult out yes, there. Yes, there is. <laughs> Papa's out there with him, with them. But, uh, okay. These even. I don't want both of those leaves, so I'm just going to take one of them off. I actually was wondering why UPS had not gotten here already. I, yeah, I am expecting yeah. a package at my oh, house. You are. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's been there then. And we're going to put this one right down here. That one kind of wants to look funny, but that's all right. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are like us, but we order online all the time. So yes. we're very friendly with our UPS yes, and FedEx we are. <laughs> people. <laughs> yep. I mean, it, it's something when I have their cell phone numbers and text them, yeah. when, you know, when, uh, when I need something or forgot to put in a pickup or anything like that. So we pretty much know their route and yep. we know when they get a little off on their time. Yes, and they, they were a little today for sure. Okay, I'm going to put one right here in the center. Just like that. to move. I can't get that one to stay where I need it. So let me work on that. Okay, that's Love how the white just really pops mm -hmm. in this. It really does. start adding some of this other greenery to mine because yeah. I've got some holes that um oh yeah I've got some too that are kind of bugging me so I'm gonna yeah. go around and fill in some well of and then we've also got these other little yellow flowers and these are just some some small little yellow wild flowers and I'm just gonna put them in oh Teresa said her FedEx lady has bought two wreaths from her in the Aww, past six months. How but, neat is see? that? There you go. You yep. become friendly with people and you never know, right? You never know. That's never know who'll right. become a customer. I'm so sure I like those in there. What do you think, Amanda? I don't mm. think I like them right there, so let me try something else. Let's I didn't really have a chance to look at it too much, so I don't know if I liked it or not. Well, I already took it out now, so we're going to see. Uh, Lori, the, they do have the white daisies at Michael's. These actually came from at home, yes. the ones we're using. They're only $2.99 at at home, so we kind of stocked up on those. Um, but, yes, you can get them at Michael's. I don't know. I'm going to put them in and we'll see. I may take them back out. Where'd you put them? I, I just got one on the side oh, here. Okay. I just can't decide if I like it, if it takes away. I mean, they're cute little. Yeah, but I don't like them. I'm no. taking it out for right now. I may use it. I might Later. Keep mine, I like yeah, it. but I'm gonna do these first. And we still got our little puff balls too. Don't forget mm -hmm. those. So I'm going to put some of these in. And I like that these are a little bit of dark of a darker yellow. And that just I like that variation in it. So oops. I'm stringing here. I'm going to put my first one right here near my 
my ribbon and I put it into the grapevine, but then I'm going to have it in my bow just a little bit like that. See, Paula says that screams spring. Yes, it does, don't it? And we need something bright and cheerful. Something that looks warm because mm -hmm. it's so cold. Okay, I'll just put a couple in there. Now I'm going to put a couple in here. The yellow and black cutter, the wire cutters that we're using are Stanley. This That's the brand, Stanley Wire Cutters. Mm -hmm. um, you can find these at Walmart. You can find them at a lot of um, like hardware stores. Yes. They carry them because these are the heavy duty kind. Uh, these are the seven or eight inch. I can't remember. Do you remember? They're, they're uh, eight inch. Eight inch. Mm -hmm. um, so these are the eight inch. Now we also use Irwin. That's another brand that's just as good. They are. I um, like them just as well. But usually, um, these are just the ones that are right here, so they're the ones I use. But you just want to make sure, if you're going to be making a lot of wreaths like this, that you're using these heavy-duty, like from the tool department, yes. wire cutters, and not the floral not wire the cutters. Not the floral, because they are not going to work as well for you. No, some of these stems, they're they're tough, so you got to really, really kind of use the heavy-duty stuff to get them. Yes. Paula said, thawing out in North Texas. Oh, goodness. Well, yes, Good. we're praying for all of we you. We have been praying. Yes, we have. All of this bad weather. Mm. It's just awful. And y'all in Texas are like us in Alabama. Yeah, we're we're not, not used to that kind of stuff. Yeah. We just are not. I'm sure people that are used to it don't get it, but... <laughs> You know, if you're like us in Alabama, we don't know what to do when we have snow. No, we don't. We just don't. We're just not equipped for it. <laughs> no, sir. And I do not want to be equipped because I don't want to be around it enough to be equipped yeah, for Yeah, she it. doesn't like snow. I would no. like it for like a couple days. No, 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 no. But more than that, I don't think so. I don't like cold is my thing. I like to be warm. I like summertime, but that's okay. We have to, you know, it makes you appreciate the summer when you've got winter. But I tell you what, this this cold has made me long for summer. I am ready for it. And it hasn't even been that cold here though not well just now, the, the last, last couple days. days yeah i was fixing to say where have you been the last couple <laughs> days have been, been cold, cold. <laughs> before but, that yeah. it was kind of yes it had pretty mild been. she's right about that it has been very very mild uh up until i love these little puff balls Aren't i think cute? these are so cute we're kind of sprinkling those in there just a little bit yeah but i'm just kind of sprinkling them around just think they're so cute and now I am going I've got a little bit more of this so I'm gonna add this and then add some of my other what other oh the other greenery. other greenery yeah yeah I just love that granary. Love it. And now you could use all kinds of greenery to, to whoops, I just pulled that right off, um, to fill in. You know, you could use any kind of like a pea leaf or a boxwood, anything like that would be pretty to fill in. We're going to be using this particular one. I'm not sure what you call this, but I love it. 
I like that it's soft and it just seems to fit with all this going in. Plus it's still a little wispy and I like that too. Oh, I pulled that one right off. What'd you cut off? Now I pulled it all the way off. Oh, pulled, yeah, I did the same <laughs> thing just a minute ago. I sure did. And I had to take the time to fix it back. Uh-oh, I hear Dexter barking. He's trying, He's to, trying say, to say, let me in. Okay, Dexter. I'm going to let him in just a minute. Is he right there? Come on. There he is. Probably he probably doesn't know what to do. <laughs> He's my old little dachshund. These are old <laughs> dachshund sweet. baby. So yes, sweet. him's a sweet boy. I had him before I had any kids. Really? Yeah. yeah. Human children. Yeah, so he was her, her first baby or one of her she's, she's got an baby. she's got an yeah he was her he's second old, baby. he's old too they're both old yeah <laughs> they are and him likes to be where his mama is and yes we're we're those kind of yep. people we're we're animal we, people. we are those kind of people <laughs> we are animal people so excuse us if you think it's crazy that we talk like that but they're our babies him's him's Gigi's boy Except he, he went by Granny. Uh, yeah, back back before I had grandchildren, he called he called me Granny. Mm. Had to go to Granny's house. He had to go to Granny's house, and he knew where Granny's house was. But then, once the kids came, they decided on Gigi, which I like that better. I don't feel quite as old. Well, Granny's good too. But that's right; it's still a good name. And I go by in. <laughs> I'm just happy to be called. So, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Just call me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just kind of filling up with this greenery. This is really yeah, pretty. That's, it is, isn't it? That's all mm -hmm. I'm doing. I'm going to put some up under my tails to kind of help hold those up. Just like that. And like I said, you could use any kind that you wanted to, any kind of of uh, greenery, whatever your your uh, oh you could your use, go to yeah you could use uh, eucalyptus in this mm -hmm. that would work you just could. as well. It we have sure actually would. used that. You could use boxwood. Yeah, anything like that would be fine. Let's see. Luann said, I'd be lost without my dogs. Oh, I know. Brandy said, when's the newest edition? Uh, probably the end of May. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. But you know, she's gone you know how babies are. Time, you never so, know. <laughs> yep, yep. I they come when they're ready. <laughs> she's expecting it, him the end of May, so he may decide to wait until okay. June. Yeah, but, you never know. Yeah, you never know. They have a way of doing what they want to. And she was stubborn. She was late. So. My other two were both early. They were both early. So we will see, I guess. Yep. You know, this would be a pretty, um, like a Mother's Day wreath, even. Mm -hmm. Like to give it, it a would. gift, I feel like. Yeah, that this would be a good one for it that. It would. I'm gonna grab another one of those bushes because I need a little more. Yeah, Brandy, it's going by fast. I know it. That's how it, you know, it seems at first like oh, it's gonna take forever, and then I <laughs> know so this fast. one really has. For some reason, it has seemed like it's gone by fast. It, it just has. What did you do? I just got another bush because I had the hole right there uh, that I want to be with. Oh yeah, I need with. some too. Can I have some of that? Uh-uh. 
You not want to share? <laughs> I'm going to hog it. No, of course you can. Give me a greenery a hog. hog. <laughs> I'm a greenery <laughs> hog. You cannot have it. No, she here. would. She'd hog that greenery. She loves it. I do. Like, Which I, I do too use, now. Yeah. I used to would never use green. Oh, no. She would not. She was one of those that, you know, would fill it up with flowers yeah. and maybe put a sprig of greenery here or there. But then she, I yeah. finally got her broke from that. Yes, yeah, she taught me well. <laughs> But hers were always pretty. They weren't as pretty though. No. And that's just the truth. That they were not the near as pretty <laughs> until I started until using the green. Start, <laughs> it, it makes a difference. It just really does. And and you know, you can, if you want your flowers to be over the top, you know, anybody can fill up a wreath with just flowers, you know, but if you want to add something extra, that's how you learn to do the greenery. That makes a difference and it really does. Yeah. I agree. Now, really now does. I agree. Yep. I'm gonna use one more piece. Now, me on the other hand, I I can go overboard on the greenery because I just love it so much. But oh, there I go again. I popped that right off. Well, I'm not gonna take the time to fix that one. Oh yeah, don't worry about if it. If we're not gonna use it, no. And that is one thing when you're um, pushing them to the top, and I always like to, because yes. I don't like to put it in just like, just like that, like it is on the bush. I always want to push it up to the top. But if you get a little heavy-handed, it'll all go and, flying off. <laughs> yes, and they do. So try to try to think about that. But yes, it it does happen to all of us. It's just one of those things that happens. Oh no. I've got glue all over today. Oh, and we can't forget about our bees. Oh, yeah, we've got to have so the bees. Got our little bees that we're going to put on here. That's right. Since we're using yellow. Mm -hmm. I have played with it. I think we're... I'm going to leave it alone and add my little bees. And these are just the little bees from Hobby Lobby, but they're so cute. I'm just going to grab one of my leftover stems that we keep handy. And just put a little glue on the bottom of them, and I'm going to set this one right here. Because he is enjoying that pretty little daisy. And it's always fun to use the little critters. It is. Especially during spring and summer. Little yes, ladybugs and butterflies. It is. And all the things. I know. I love doing that. I think it just makes them extra special. And while we're finishing up, I do want to say that our Design with the Pros Club, which is our membership club, which where we teach all the step-by-step -step how to make and sell your wreaths, uh, it is open right now. So if you would like more information about our club, you can go to www.gracemonroehome.com and click uh, at the top. It says uh, join the club and you can find out all the information about it. Uh, we have got some amazing, uh, an amazing membership group in our, in, uh, our Facebook membership group. That's our private group just for the people in the club. And, uh, we just have the best time in there. We have just the most wonderful members and we've got over, I don't even know, over 600 people that are always there to help each other and uh, give advice if you, you know, need something. And Amanda and I are very hands-on. We're Oops. always in the group. Glued myself. Oh, Sorry, she didn't did. interrupt, but glued myself. Glued herself. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, we don't teach you how Carry to do on. that. Yeah, we don't teach you how to do that. But uh, we'd love, to, if it's something you're interested in, we'd love to have you join us. And we just invite you to go to gracemonroehome.com and click the 
join the club and find out all the information about it. Yeah, and we'll probably be open for a few more days. Yes. Um, we kind of didn't set a really hard deadline this time around. Like she said, we're only open th three times a year, but yeah. this year, because I am expecting, yeah. we don't know. Normally, we would open around the time the babies do. We don't know if we're going to be able to this year. Yeah, we're, so we're kind of keeping it. probably <laughs> not, so we're... Just depends. We're kind of yeah. keeping it open just a little bit longer just to give those who are interested in joining exactly. an opportunity to um, jump on board. But, you know, if you want to learn how to make designer wreaths, how to sell them online, be involved in just an amazing community. Uh, our, our community, I cannot tell you enough. We've got people that have been in there praying for each yeah. other uh, during this whole crisis, you know, that's been going on with the weather. And it's just amazing. Our, our group is amazing. Let's see, Mary said she's been watching the membership tutorials today and she loves them. Oh, oh that's wonderful. Great, and if you are in Design with the Pros Club, we actually um, just released a business tutorial today. So y'all go check yes, that out. Yes, yes. And we do have already over 70 tutorials in yeah, the group. Probably closer to 100. Probably now. closer to 100 now. I've been saying 70, 70 for, for like a while. Yeah. Years. So yeah, <laughs> closer to 100 in there. And we do release new ones every month, plus our lives, plus our Q&A, where you just ask us questions, you know, and we answer them for you. Mm -hmm. Plus, we're there, like we said, we're hands-on. I have been helping people today that have asked questions, and I've been answering those questions today and trying to help them. So we're there to help any way that we can. And even if you don't want to have a business mm -hmm. with with wreaths we we've got members in there that are just starting out making wreaths and uh that's great we are uh in there to help them and then we've got people that have been making wreaths for you know 25 30 years but they want to know how to sell them online because we have been in business since 2007 selling our wreaths all over the world and uh We've got them on every continent, I think, right now, So, which is amazing to think about. We're just so blessed. And so uh, we'd love to teach you how if that's what you want to do. Yeah, and we do have a lot of questions. People ask, well, you know, I'm just starting out. Mm -hmm. is, this, is this good for me? You know, is this group something that I need to be part of if I'm a beginner? And, yes, I mean, we have beginners. We have people in the group who have been in the group for years and never even made the first they've never they made like the first tutorials. Tutorials. Yeah. <laughs> they just like watching the tutorials and they say one of these yeah. days they're gonna make one so that's fine too we welcome them yeah. and then we have you know seasoned designers that are just looking for new fresh ideas you right know? so um, we definitely you know we have a lot there for you if it's something that you're interested in we would love to have you as part of the club um, yep. we'll probably be open for a few more days Yes. I don't know exactly how long, but maybe three or four more days. So um, check us out at www.gracemonroehome.com. You can click the Join the Club tab. It's on the upper right-hand side, I believe, mm -hmm. of the page. Click there and just look at all the information. There's videos. There's uh, testimonials all kinds of information if that's not inf enough information for you then please feel free send to us an email message us yes that's <laughs> right I had, I had one today that uh, was asking some specific questions and i answered those for her so uh that's what we we are here for yes him's getting up on my leg. and uh, if you are play. watching us on youtube y'all be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and click that little bell to get notified if you're watching us on Facebook, remember we're live every Friday at 4 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time for Flower Friday. So That's right. So y'all be sure to um, join us next week. That's right. And these are the finished wreaths. They just yes, scream okay. sunshine. Come Happiness. On sunshine. <laughs> Yellow is yes, the happy color. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm happy with these. We'll yep. uh, take some pictures and we'll show you guys how they turn yes, out. Yes, that's right. All right. Well, we thank you so much for joining us today for yes, Flower Friday. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye.